I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for Youth. In this video I'm going to be doing some movements for the SI or sacroiliac joint. This video is part of a series of videos and I encourage you to watch the first video which is more informational about the SI joint or the sacroiliac joint. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating some movements where the pelvic bones uh, will be rotating inward toward each other in the front, which opens up the sacroiliac joints in the back. Or one or both hemipelvises will be going outward, and as that movement of the pelvis happens, more compression or pushing into the sacroiliac joint happens. And so some move, the, the moves where the pelvic bones come inward, the sacroiliac joint is opening up. In movements where the pelvic bones are widening, there is compression or closing down the space of the sacroiliac joints. Both movements are important to be able to have in comfort. And so now I'm going to demonstrate some movements that you can learn how to do that will help promote mobility in those directions. I just start by lying down and for the sake of the video I'm going to just bend my left leg to start demonstrating this. If I widen my foot, bring it wider, makes it easier for my knee to go inward and as my knee goes inward, this is hip internal and medial rotation, plus I'm allowing my pelvis to lift, now I'm opening up the space of my sacroiliac joint. And then I bring my knee back, I bring my foot closer into my other leg, and now my knee is bending outward. I have an external or lateral rotation at the hip. And in this position, I can feel my gluteal muscles contract around my SI joint on the left and I'm compressing into the SI joint. So I can slowly come out, move my foot wide, bring my knee inward, open up the sacroiliac joint, come back to my neutral, bring my foot inward, bend my knee outward, compress, gently compress into the sacroiliac joint, and I can move back and forth. I can do my left side. I can do my right side, which is what I suggest you do first one at a time. That way you really get to feel the individual sacroiliac joints. And then you can put it together in a, a movement like this. Uh, this is part of the flower movement. This is the lower flower where you bring your, the bottoms of your feet toward each other your knees go out, there's an arch in the back, you're compressing into the sacroiliac joints. And then you can bring your feet out and your knees in, flatten your back. As you squeeze your knees and thighs toward each other, you are opening up the space in the sacroiliac joints. And then you can slowly go through the transition where your feet are together and your knees are out. And now you're contracting through the gluteals. You're also contracting through the low back. You have an arch in the low back. You're compressing into the sacroiliac joints. And now you can transition, bring your knees and thighs toward each other, flatten your back. You're opening up the sacroiliac joint. And that's the lower flower. I like to combine it has a full body movement. So I'm bringing my hands behind my head and I'm going to inhale and I'm going to bring the bottoms of my feet toward each other. My knees go out, my sacroiliac joints are compressing. I even bring my head back a little. I press my elbows gently into the floor and now I have a full spinal extension and I'm also contracting between my shoulder blades as well as compressing into my sacroiliac joints. And then I can slowly come out of that movement, bring my feet wide, contract my belly, 
come up into a curl of my spine or a flexion. Squeeze my thighs and knees gently toward each other and open up my sacroiliac joints. And I can gently go back and forth. Sometimes we call this opening the flower. That closes or compresses into my sacroiliac joints. Now as I let go of my back, contract my belly, bring my knees toward each other, I'm in a gentle spinal curl and I'm opening up my sacroiliac joints. And I can go back and forth, closing or compressing. Plus this is now a full body movement. It feels so good to go back and forth throughout the whole body, the spine, and into the pelvis and sacroiliac joints. When you are done, just come out and rest. It's nice to give yourself a few seconds to feel the sensations from the movement you've been doing. I hope you try these movements that open and compress into the sacroiliac joints. They're really wonderful movements to gain more mobility in the pelvis and in the sacroiliac joints. And they're very good for releasing tension in the low back, in the sacroiliac joints the front of the pelvis, and sometimes all the way down the legs. So thank you very much.